everyone, my name is Katie and welcome back to my channel. Today I am calling myself out to talk about some series that I have yet to read but that I really want to. So today is going to be the top five fantasy series that I need to read soon because I've just had my eye on all these series. They've been on previous TBRs before and I just haven't read them yet. I own most of the books, haven't read them yet. I think that on booktube we have a tendency to focus on debuts which is great because I love new books. You see last week I just did a video on all of the books that I am anticipating for fall so I you know I love books that are new but there are some series that I really just need to give my attention to that I own and I haven't read yet. For me to list a series on this video my rules were that there needs to be more than one book published in the series and I need to own at least one book in the series if not more. So I'm going to go in the order of the amount of time that I've had my eyes on these books and wanting to read them from the least amount of time to the most amount of time being you know my theoretical priority that I should read them in because you know there's been some books that I just haven't read yet and I don't know why so with that being said let's get into it so for number five we have Red Rising by Pierce Brown which is Red Rising, Golden Sun, Morning Star, Iron Gold, and most recently Dark Age which just came out in July. This book has been compared to The Hunger Games and it's an adult sci-fi which I haven't really read a lot of adult sci-fi so that's really what got my eye on it and then of course Madison from Princess of Paperback bought me this book for my birthday so I have a little note in here that she wrote me and she said her dad really liked it so I trust her dad's opinion because he's read a lot of books and uh so we're just gonna roll with it. <laughs> so Red Rising takes place on Mars where there is a caste system of peoples with the reds being the lowest and the gold being the elite. Darrow is a red and works day in and day out in the mines for what they think is making Mars livable for the rest of humanity. He's happy to work towards this goal. However, him and the rest of the reds are betrayed when they learn that Mars has actually been inhabitable for generations and the reds are just being oppressed as slaves by the higher castes. Fueled by his need for justice, Darrow then infiltrates the legendary institutes where the golds reside and will stop at nothing to get his revenge and he will have to compete against society's best. It just sounds like kind of like Hunger Games in space and it's really interesting that it follows an adult main character that I think is in his 30s or so and he's also fueled a lot by the fact that he lost his wife so I think it's going to be a little bit different for me than things I've read before but I think I am going to really like it and I've heard nothing but good things about it so that's why I have my eye on it and why it has made this list. At number four, we have The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell. And, ooh, the back of this cover is so pretty too. So this one followed by the sequel the devil's thief and there is a cover for the third one and it is gorgeous and that is the serpent's curse and it comes out on april 7th 2020. these books were also a birthday present from my dear friend melissa we were in barnes and noble like maybe a week before my birthday just talking about books because that's what we do we hang out at barnes and noble and talk about books saying how pretty these covers were and how we loved like the Ouroboros design on The Last Magician and it just seems like a really cool book and lo and behold a week later these showed up in my mailbox for my birthday so thank you Melissa and this was also just recently the Books with Friends July pick so that also kind of increased my awareness of this book because it seemed like a lot of people on my timeline were reading it and loving it. It also takes place in the 20s kind of and features magic which gives me diviners vibes and I love the diviners. So I feel like I'm gonna love this. And the tagline is stop the magician, steal the book, save the future. Oh, just kidding, it takes place in 1902, not the 20s. Love those, but you know. In modern day New York, magic is all but extinct. If a mage enters New York, they cannot leave it or they will lose their power. So they're kind of stuck there. Esta is a talented thief and she has magic for time travel. And she has been raised to steal artifacts from those that created the force that keeps magicians trapped on the island of Manhattan. Her final job as a thief is to travel back to 1902 New York and steal a book that contains all of the secrets of this order. 
and in the past she comes face to face with someone known as the magician and it sounds cool because you know 1902 new york has that old new york feel and i've heard that time travel is done very well in this novel and that it's cool and you know time travel can be very iffy but if it's done well i think it can really pay off and that just makes me excited to get to the series with these gorgeous gorgeous covers Coming in at number three on the list, we have the Carval series, which is Carval, Legendary, and Finale, all by Stephanie Garber, which also, I just remembered I got this Finale one at Barnes & Noble, so this is beautiful. Dust jacket art, which I love. I don't even know who these people are in this picture, but they are kissing. You know I love me, a good series with kissing. I was talking to everyone from the Overhyped Book Club about Caravelle and both Michelle and Kendra were like, you need to read the series because you're going to love it. So I know that I really will. And Soleil from the Little Reader's Corner also loves the Caravelle series. So, you know, I have, I have some pressures to read it. And I have slowly acquired this series. I got Caraval on Book Outlet, I think. Haven't placed a Book Outlet order in a while try and be good. If I go on that site, I get tempted. But there was, a, I think I got this one for the Black Friday sale where there was just so many books for so cheap. Then I got Legendary at Books of Wonder in New York City while I was there because it is signed. And I was like, well, I already own the first one. So I gotta get the second one while I see it signed. And then this one, I got the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition when it first came out because I saw the dust jacket art and I was like, well, I need that now. And I love how on the back there's a ticket that says, admit one to be used once to gain entrance into Caraval. Main gates close at midnight. Anyone who arrives later than this will not be able to participate or win this year's prize of one wish. Scarlet Drogna has never left the tiny island where she lives with her cruel father and her sister Tilla. She's being forced into an arranged marriage, but she has always longed to see Caraval, a once a year performance where the audience is involved in the show. Her dream invitation has finally arrived and she brings her sister Tella with her to the show. However, right when they arrive, Tella is kidnapped by Caraval's organizer, Legend, and the way to win the game is to be the first one to find her. And so Scarlet must set out to rescue her sister. Scarlet's been told that Caraval isn't really real, but she becomes enmeshed in, in a game of love, heartbreak, and magic. This just seems really cool, like magical, whimsical, and I just love that kind of atmosphere. So I'm really excited to get to the series. They're, they're just really pretty. So they've been sitting on my shelf, staring at me, telling me to read them ever since I got them. The series coming in at number two has been on my radar ever since about October when I read Strange the Dreamer, and that is Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lini Taylor. I've actually had my eye on this series for a little bit longer than that, honestly, probably since high school because that's when my best friend Melissa read them and loved them. However, it's only coming in at number two because I've like only seriously considered reading them after I read Strange the Dreamer and I saw that this series was connected. And also when I met Lainey Taylor, I could get as many books as I wanted signed. So I bought a whole soft cover set and they are all signed. So the series is Daughter of Smoke and Bone, Days of Blood and Starlight, and Dreams of Gods and Monsters. And there's also a little companion novella that is Night of Cake and Puppets. And it's so pretty and I'm pretty sure it was written by Lainey and illustrated by her husband, which is just the cutest thing. And it's a companion about novel about some side characters that just seems really cute. Strange things start happening all around the world. Black handprints appear on doors, scorched there by winged strangers. In a dark shop, a devil's supply of teeth has grown dangerously low. And in Prague, a young, talented art student named Carew is about to be tangled up in all of this. Karu is a messenger of sorts between many worlds, and she longs to find out who she really is. When beautiful Akiva fixes his eyes on her in an alley in Marrakesh, the result is blood and starlight, secrets unveiled, and star-crossed love. And I mean, Lainey Taylor just has such a beautiful and lyrical writing style, and I just can't wait to sink my teeth into this series because I think it's going to be so good. And usually I like to binge read series, so hopefully I will be able to read this one just straight through and... No, I just think it's gonna be a treat because that is usually how Lainey Taylor's books are for me. Because Stranger Dreamer and Muse of Nightmares are some of my favorite books ever. 
And topping off this list is a book that I have, no surprise, talked about many times on my channel and it's been in many TBRs and I just haven't read it yet. And that is Renegades by Marissa Meyer, including Renegades, Arch Enemies, and Supernova, which will be out in November. This is just a little sampler I got at BookCon. Imagine if I had an arc, that would be crazy. I love Marissa Meyer. I read her Lunar Chronicle series last year, fell in love with it, and I didn't even think I was gonna like it before I started it. But alas, I love them. And I also love superhero shows, TVs, movies, all that. So I know I would love a superhero book. Why haven't I read this yet? I just, I don't know. Maybe, I think I might save this one for when Supernova comes out and then just read straight through because I just know it's going to be an absolute treat. Renegades takes place in a world where there are prodigies that have extraordinary abilities that are broken up into two syndicates. The Renegades, which stand for peace and justice, and the Anarchists, which wish to destroy it. Nova has a reason to hate the Renegades, and she's on a mission to destroy them. She does this by infiltrating their ranks. But when she meets a renegade named Adrian, he just might believe in her enough to change her mind. However, Nova's allegiance is to a villain that wishes to destroy all of the renegades. This just sounds like the perfect book for me. I have owned this for so long. I think I got it for my birthday last year, so that's like a year and a half. And as soon as I heard about it, I knew I wanted to read it. And I just don't know why I haven't picked it up yet. I think that's just how life works sometimes, but you know, I know when I read it, I'm gonna love it, hopefully. I mean, I think I will. I hope I will. If I don't, I'll be sad, but you know, it's how it goes. But yes, this is why it is number one on this list. And also Arch Enemies, like when this cover came out, I was in love. I love how the reds and the blues work together on this cover. And also the cover for Supernova just ties it together so well. Like it's just such a fun superhero, cool cover for a really cool series and I need to read them. I need to. So that, that's why it's at the top. Going from the bottom to the top of the list, there was Red Rising, The Last Magician, Carval, Daughter Smoke and Bone, and Renegades. Let me know down below in the comments what is the series that you really, really need to get to. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and have some fun, read some books, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.